Unlike Rush Limbaugh, I am not the doctor of democracy, but you don't need to be a doctor to know that there was something sick in the election. My vote was not equally protected. As Mark Levin points out, the Equal Protection Clause in the Constitution includes your vote. It's not just my vote, but your vote gets equal protection as well. When you had to show proper ID to vote in person, while voters who cast mail-in ballots did not, was your vote equally protected? When hundreds of thousands of ballots during early voting were transported from Bethpage, New York to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and eventually to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and were counted in totals where? Was your vote equally protected? When scores of dead people cast ballots, my vote did not get equal protection. Or to say it like, Mark Stein did, when a dead person casts a vote, a Democrat gets his wings. When people witnessed watching ballots being scanned over and over again, was your vote equally protected? When a person after person and affidavit after affidavit testified to mail-in ballots being backdated, was your vote equally protected in blue counties and cities when poll watchers, females included, were harassed, threatened, cursed at, bullied, disenfranchised, and removed from rooms where votes were being counted and assessed for legality, was your vote equally protected? When unqualified people ran the Dominion voting systems, particularly in battleground states, and coupling that suspicious data dump in the wee hours of the morning in the same battleground states, was your vote equally protected? When blocks of votes show up for 99.6% for Biden and 0.4% for Trump, was your vote equally protected? With stats like that, Biden did even better than the dictators of North Korea, Venezuela, and dare I say, Vladimir Putin. See, votes aren't just about one particular candidate, but the nearly 77 million votes for candidates who all ran for the same office and whose names are not Joe Biden. If you are among those 77 million voters who voted for someone else other than Joe Biden, your vote was not equally protected. Ballots cast for Joe Biden, however, received what Hunter, his son, gets, Biden privilege. Biden privilege for some is not equal protection for all, especially in elections. Is this fair? Where's the noise from the social justice warriors? Those noise-making warriors now are quiet as snowflakes and crickets. Unlike Tony Kornheiser of Pardon the Interruption, I will try to do better the next time.